I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with the Weather 2020. Hurricane Barrel, a major hurricane, is getting close to a Category 5 hurricane based on what I'm seeing with this eye. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. Let's take a look at that and what is going on and how the LRC actually predicted a potential system right now, right where it is. All right, let's, let me show you what's going on here. As we can take a look, you can see there it is, the hurricane is look at the eye okay the one off to the east this system is weak and it doesn't look like it's going to have a chance to develop probably in response to how powerful hurricane barrel is and then chris formed not sure that was even a tropical storm but the national hurricane center decided to name it for some reason and you can see uh, it is now inland so the one game in town right now is major hurricane barrel and i want to zoom in to take a look at this eye. Look closely. You can tell how strong a hurricane is, especially when it gets to this strength and how symmetric that eye is. That is just a very impressive hurricane. Fortunately, it's washed to the islands now harmlessly out over the Caribbean Sea, but it could easily produce tremendous waves, as you can imagine, with 140 mile per hour winds getting close to 150 mile per hour winds so that's pretty impressive as you can see uh, right there i want to show you uh, where this system came from and and where it was tracking towards and 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 show how the lrc is actually the best weather tool for hurricane prediction far in advance that exists in the world today what you're looking at here, let me go to this full. What you're looking at here is uh, an indicator we had on November 11th, 2023. And then that moved this way, November 12th, the 15th. And then because it didn't show up again, it shows that it's going to weaken. Okay. However, we also had indication in this part of the cycling pattern on February 17th out here. I know, what the heck am I talking about? February, November. Well, remember, the weather pattern the weather pattern is cycling regularly, all right? And the LRC, has we have cracked the code and the order and chaos in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And so this year's pattern has been cycling six to seven weeks. So when you see a disturbance in November, go add in that six to seven weeks. Multiply that by six cycles, and guess what you come out with? July 1st, right now. So here is our projection of where we thought a, predict a storm would happen in late June or early July, mid-August, or late September. And we didn't know for sure it would be late June or early July, but it was in our forecast. Now watch. I'm going to put this into motion, and you'll see there's Category 4 Hurricane Barrel, and it goes right over the projection right now by 6 a.m. Wednesday is for it to go right over this first prediction we made, saying it would be right here. And then it goes near our second prediction and then goes across the Yucatan Peninsula, hopefully as a Category 1 weaker hurricane. And then it's heading right towards our February prediction. So look at that. That's the LRC projecting the path of barrel. And this forecast is from March, all right, from way back in March. So very interesting. So all right, let's take a look at this one more time and uh, t take a look at the, uh, now I'm going to go to my screen here again and just show you this hurricane. It's just amazing to me uh, watching this. Look at that thing. That is Hurricane Barrel. Again, it's already moved through the islands. I'm sure there was some devastation there, but it is a fast mover, and it's heading to the west towards the Yucatan Peninsula. So there's your update, another LRC prediction, and an impressive major hurricane. Chris also formed, and then it dissipated within six hours as it moved inland over Mexico. So we've had three named storms already this season. Weather 2020 is predicting 14 to 19 named storms, a lot less than everybody else, so we'll see what happens. But we've been the most accurate two years in a row. Hope everyone has a great day, and fortunately, this is over the open waters right now.
We'll have another update later in the week. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak.